Good morning this Sunday morning. Trisha and I have been in the presence of the Lord. Something good today, this Sunday, is going to happen to you. Why? Because I have faith God's got something for you today. And because of that faith, I'm going to put a little work to it right now. We are and read out of God's word for you. Um, first, let, let's have Trish to say a prayer for us. And then we're going to go into the word. And by faith, something good is going to happen to you. Father, your presence is already here this morning, Jesus. I pray, Lord, for you to reach your hands out and touch the people, the needs that they have, in Jesus' name. All right. We all need faith. It pleases God that we have faith. There's many problems and sorrows and things in our life that we need from God, but we have to have faith, and let's put some works with that faith. What is faith? Definition of faith, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, believing without sin. Believing in something without sin. How? It's produced by hearing God's word. Let's hear God's word, the holy book, and God's word in your spirit coming from above. Romans chapter 10, verses 7. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. The nature of faith is the heart. The nature of faith is the heart. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 10. That if thou shalt confess the, with the mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in the heart that God hath raised him from the dead, Thou shalt be saved. That's simple. Very simple. Unto. For in with the heart man believeth. Unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Faith is the fruit of the spirit. Faith is the fruit of the spirit. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. But the fruit of the spirit is love. Joy. Peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Jesus is the author of faith. Jesus is the author of faith. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Faith is a work of God. Faith is a work of God. When you believe something, you put some work with it. I could believe that you're listening to me today, but unless I open my mouth and do some work, you're not hearing nothing I say. I'm putting some work with it. John chapter 6, verse 29, Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God, that you believe on him who he hath sent. Believe in Jesus. Believe in the Son of God that God has sent. Speaking of himself, of course, because we know God came in the flesh. Now faith works by love. Galatians chapter 5, verse 6. For Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything, no uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. Faith expresses itself. Faith expresses itself. Action. Acts chapter 11, verse 21. And the hand of the Lord was with them. And a great number believed and turned to the Lord. Faith in action. Faith in action. James chapter 2, verse 21, 22. Was not Abraham our father justified by works? When he offered Isaac his son upon the altar, seeing that how faith with works and by works faith was made perfect. Faith can be made perfect. It's not just enough to believe. Put some work with what you're believing in, whatever it may be. 
If you're believing in something, put some work with it. James chapter 2, verse 17. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, it is dead being alone. It is dead being alone. Believing is not enough. Faith without works is not enough because the devils believed and trembled. James chapter 2, verse 19. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils believe. They have faith. Oh, but the devils are not saved even because they believe. Put some work with what you're believing in. This morning, God can touch your faith. Put some action with it. You have to believe and do a work together to be saved because faith without works is dead. Is it, are you ready to read? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, uh, baptism is a work. It's a, what you did when you follow Christ, you're baptized. So Mark chapter 16, verse 16, he that believeth, which is faith, and is baptized, which is a work, shall be saved. Acts chapter 18, verse 8. Many Corinthians hearing, believed, and were baptized. The like figure were unto even baptism doth now save us by the resurrection of Christ. Galatians chapter 3, verse 27. As many as you have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of Jesus. If you believe in this morning for a miracle in your life, if you're believing that God will touch your problem in your life, put some work with it. Make your faith perfect. Call on the name of Jesus. He hears and answers prayer in that name. God is well pleased of his son. Listen to him. Listen to the words of Jesus Christ. When you have faith, call upon the name of Jesus. Whatever your problem is right now, let God touch you. Let God save you. You need a miracle? Jesus, somebody calling on your name. Jesus, this Sunday morning, somebody needs help. Jesus, touch our friends out there. Jesus, you know the problem, the situation. There's so many in this world. But we have a God that sits upon the throne with all power in his hand that's going to touch you. He's touched me. And I want to share his blessing, his faith, his power. And I want to put some work to it. I wouldn't be here this morning if I didn't get up and dress and put works. God bless you. Have a great day. Amen. Listen to the singers below. Amen. Another message. God bless you.